Hello, Rene. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Ah, this day is good. Good. Yeah. Was yeah, there good. traffic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very traffic. Yeah, the traffic yeah. is usually heavy on Mondays, right? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, well, okay. But that's okay. Uh, you're here. You're ready for classes. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, Have you had yes. your dinner? Yeah, I did not. I eat the dinner. <laughs> so you said yes, I have eaten dinner. Uh -huh. Did you and practice? I have... uh, -huh. uh -huh. Did you practice the present perfect? So so. So so. Uh huh. Oh, okay, that's fine. Uh, how are you doing with the platform? Uh. I finished the platform, uh, but uh, I review uh, the platform uh, this, this moment. In this moment. You, okay, you're reviewing the platform in order to check uh, if you have any, uh -huh. any topic that you would like to review. Uh huh. And and and, and the last. And the last, uh, excuse me. Ah, okay. Uh, in the last, uh, I had a problem. Uh, I read the the text. I don't understand. Okay, you read the text and uh -huh. you didn't understand it. You uh -huh. didn't understand the instructions or the test itself. Uh, I check uh, all all questions, and any any question is is good. I don't know. So you answered the questions about the text. Uh huh. And uh -huh. your answers were not correct. Uh huh. Oh, okay, okay. Uh -huh. I understand. Did you try um, uh, placing a period at the end of the sentence without period and all those things? No, at this moment, no. Okay, I'm going to check that exercise and I will let you know tomorrow what's happened. Okay. 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 Um, how are you doing, Gloria? Hi, teacher. Uh, it's very good this day, teacher. I know, you Thanks. look different today. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, yes, <a> because <laughs> <laughs> you, look, <laughs> but you look happier and I think your hair is loose. It's loose? Uh-huh, suelto. Ah, yeah, teacher. <laughs> Because uh, after day, uh, I, como es secar el cabello, pistolear, teacher? I tried, tried a secar, you I tried hair. your hair. I dry my hair and I, I am, I feel, uh, uh, okay, uh, my look. Ah, okay, you feel good with that look. That's excellent. <laughs> yeah, she looks different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, I don't know what's happening with the with the rest of your classmates because they are not joining the section. I wanted to make a review about this topic because, well, uh, this topic needs a lot of practice. Okay. Uh -huh. So you remember that we have been talking about, well, we started last Thursday talking about the present perfect. Okay. okay. It's uh -huh. necessary to memorize teacher, this verse. The, yes, because you remember that they are irregular verbs and they change, they don't follow a rule. 
of course, in the present tense, as in, uh, in the present and simple present and simple past and present perfect, you use both. You use, uh, you use regular and irregular verb. But regular verbs are easier because they follow a rule and that's it. But the irregular verbs need more practice and attention, right? Okay. So yeah. it's good to practice. Yeah. And this is structure. Remember that a structure, uh, it has a pattern to follow. You have to follow that pattern and uh, you have to use it. You have to practice it in order to get the, the grammar. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. it's, a little, uh, it's a little difficult, uh, this verbs uh, mm -hmm. I think. But, uh, yes, remember that you have to practice them and well, today I'm going to send all this information to the WhatsApp so you can practice it when you have time. Remember that we are almost. I don't know what happened with the kids. Yes. What is the 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 more is easier to memorize writing or read and read and read? Okay, there are different ways uh, in which you can learn because what I remember. Okay, uh, lo silencio René porque creo que andan jugando mica los niños ahí afuera. <laughs> Cuando necesite hablar, usted puede habilitar su micrófono. Okay, um, there are different ways in which you can practice. Uh, well, it, uh, remember that every person learns in different way. So, cada persona aprende de diferentes maneras y a veces nosotros mismos no sabemos cuál es nuestro, nuestro método, nuestra forma de aprender. Entonces, lo que usted puede hacer es probar de diferentes maneras. A mí, cuando era joven, me funcionaba repetir, 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 repetir. Eh, yo lo que hacía es que como no nos permitían andar con cuaderno en el trabajo, eh, lo que hacía es que me anotaba los verbos en la mano. Me anotaba cinco verbos y de repente miraba la mano, los practicaba, los andaba repitiendo, los andaba repitiendo. Ahora no memorizo. Después, eh, ente, se me, se me hizo más difícil, no sé si por el estrés, porque los cambios y todo, entonces ya mi cabeza no me daba así. Entonces empecé a andar un cuaderno y un lapicero y me ponía a hacer como planas. Escribirlos, escribirlos y escribirlos varias veces. Eh, sí. De repente a uno le toca ir a consulta. Sí. En vez de estar viendo que, quién entró, si salió bravo de donde el doctor, si salió llorando, si salió contento, en vez de estar viendo la vida de los pacientes, podemos andar al cuadernito y de repente esperamos hasta dos horas en el seguro, en la unidad de salud, incluso si es médico privado, igual le toca esperar a uno. En ese momento, mire, usted saca su cuadernito, se pone a escribir, a escribir, a escribir, De repente, si trabaja en oficina y no tiene trabajo que hacer, escríbalos, escríbalos, haga oraciones, diga, ah, ok, um, voy a repasar qué vi, el presente perfecto, ok, cómo era la cosa. Ah, aquí me dice que tengo que utilizar sujeto, verbo auxiliar, have or has, y un verbo en participio. Entonces, me voy a poner a hacer oraciones en presente perfecto. I have uh, eaten uh, I have eaten sushi many times. I have traveled to Guatemala. I have uh, I have lived in this house for 5 years. I don't know. Empezar a hacer oraciones. My sister has my sister has lived in her house for or since 2000. Por ejemplo, mi hermana ha vivido en esa casa desde el 2000. Uh -huh. eh, no he terminado el reporte aún. I haven't 
finish the report yet. Mm -hmm. Entonces, ponerme a hacer oraciones así, siguiendo la estructura. Uh, yo siento que funciona, el, el inglés es como la matemática, usted tiene que ejercitarlo, tiene que practicarlo, ya sea repitiendo, escribiendo o memorizándose las fórmulas, las estructuras, ahí usted verá y de repente pruebe un día a memorizarlos, así nomás. Okay. Y si siente que no le abundó, entonces escríbalos. Ok, yeah. Una de las dos le va a resultar. Yeah, uh, I think uh, I need to write in this bed because uh, in this, uh, in the last time, I repeat and repeat in una hoja de papel en todos lados, ¿verdad? Pero sí uh -huh. siento que no se me han quedado, ¿verdad? Entonces quizás sí, lo que usted dice, que de repente por cambios en nuestras circunstancias, lo que sea, quizás tenemos que probar ese otro método de escribirlos y escribirlos. Sí, porque Voy a veces a si aquí. uno está solo como tratando de memorizar, pero en la cabeza hay como muchos problemas que de repente se meten por ahí, se meten por ahí, pero si usted lo está escribiendo, como que le demanda más concentración y el hecho de que usted está haciendo eso, no le permite que otras cosas le estén atacando la cabeza. A veces es el estrés, el día a día, lo que ya no nos permite como memorizar mucho. Entonces, okay. a estas alturas a mí me funciona más escribir, hacer como planas, planas, planas. Y siempre ando un mi sí, pedazo de papel, un lapicero y de repente me toca eh, que dicen, hay reunión y va a empezar a tal hora. Y yo me desocupé antes, entonces en ese rato me pongo a escribir, a escribir o a ver qué es lo que tengo que hacer, qué es lo que se me ha pasado por alto. Y escribo, escribo, escribo y me funciona. Ya no se me olvidan las cosas. Sí, Entonces, cierto. por eso le digo, es de Voy a probar. comentarlo, espera, sí, sí, es, tiene razón, teacher, gracias. Uh -huh. Ok, para eso estamos, cualquier tip, ahí estamos. <ríe> ok, uh, empezamos okay, a gracias. ver el present perfect, le voy a mandar toda la información al nomás termine la clase, hoy sí, prometo. Le va a llegar el, el esto, que es la lista de verbos irregulares, hay que practicarla. Eh, la pueden descargar en su computadora e imprimirlo para que les sea más funcional. Le voy a mandar esta hojita también, que en esta está la estructura. Eh, ¿Cómo se forma el presente perfecto? ¿Verdad? Aquí está. Eh, ahorita lo van a hacer en su cuaderno para que practiquen un poco de escritura. Um, ok, let's see. Uh, remember that the present perfect is to talk about past experience. Basically, is to talk about experience, something that happened in the past, but it's still connected to the present in somehow. So uh, the structure is if you are making an affirmative statement, you have to place the subject first and then the verb auxiliary have or has, depending on the subject. Remember that we use have for I, you, we, they. Has for he, she, it, which is the third person singular. And then the verb in past participle. Remember, for negative statements, we have to place the first the subject, then the auxiliary have or has, and then we add not after the auxiliary we are not, and the verb in past participle. So we are um, making a negative statement. For questions, for yes, no questions, the short answers, we just moved. We place first the auxiliary and then the subject, then the verb in past participle, and you may have a complement. And finally, the question mark. For its short answers, you answer must have the same auxiliary. If it says, have you eaten? Have you eaten? Yes, I have. Or, no, I have not. Or, no, I haven't. You can have see here, uh -huh. have not is haven't. Okay. Has not, 
hasn't. You hasn't. can make it charging with the contracted form. Okay, as I told you, this is our review. We started this topic um, the last Thursday. So now we're going to practice following the structure. We will have to complete this using the structure that we have been studying, the present perfect structure. Um, you have the first sentence, it says, the first sentence says, I'm really hungry because I, and we have to use the verb eat. Aquí nos está diciendo que estoy realmente hambrienta porque no he comido. I am really hungry because I, I need the auxiliary, tengo que poner el auxiliary primero. Y por el sentido de la oración, haven't. Ok. Haven't eaten. Porque no podría decir estoy hambrienta porque he comido. Entonces tiene que ser negativo. I am really hungry because I haven't eaten. Number two is a question. For questions, I need the auxiliary first. The subject is Mary. So the auxiliary will do? Has, has Mary? Has yes, Mary? Yes, yes, Mary. Has. 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 Uh -huh. Aquí nos olvidamos del do y el das, porque el do y el das es para presente simple. Para presente perfecto usamos have or has como auxiliar. Entonces vamos a usar en el caso de Mary, que es tercera persona singular, has. Has Mary the verb? Done. Done. Uh -huh. Has Mary done her homework? Yes, she. She does. Uh -uh. No does. No, sorry. Yes, she has. Ajá. Yes, she has. Practice. 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 Okay. I'll give okay. you five minutes. Cinco minutos para que escriban solo. Escriban número dos y las dos respuestas o tres según los espacios que tenga que llenar para que no escriba todo. Yo luego okay. se los mando. Uh -huh. Ok, teacher. Ok, I'll give you five minutes.
Hello, Juan, how are you doing? Uh, solamente una duda con, con a right. Uh -huh. Sería a right. Yes, that's regular. Okay. How are you doing? Finished? Uh, number eight. Ready to check your answers? Um, 
No yet. Yes. No yet. No yet. Rene. No. No. Okay, we have checked the number one and number two. Uh, do you have yeah. number three, Gloria? Number three, uh, have we seen? Yes, have, movie? yes, have we seen that movie? I can't I remember. Can't. Very nice, good job. Uh, number four, William? Oh no, I have lost my cell phone. I have lost, excellent. No. Uh, Rene, yes, that's the answer. Rene, number five. No, parents, we arrived a heaven, they are not here. It's difficult to hear you, Rene, there is too much noise. Can you repeat? Uh, no. Uh, Pat no, and Sue? No. Pat and Sue arrived. Haven't they are not here? No. Mm. Have a right. Mm. It's right. negative. Right. Es negativa. Empieza no. Oh, yes. yes ¿Y ¿Cómo it's... sería decir Pat y Sue oh. no han llegado? Haven't arrived. Haven't arrived. Con D al final. Haven't arrived. Right. Uh -huh. No, Pat and Sue haven't arrived. They are not here. What about number six? Okay. Uh, has Mr. Smith had breakfast? Has Mr. Smith had? Had breakfast. Uh -huh, had. Yes, had. Excellent. Number seven, Rene? I mean, I'm nervous. I, 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 I haven't flown in a plane before. Okay. Uh, si dice que está nervioso, y luego dice, estoy nervioso y en un aeroplano antes. Es como si dice, estoy nervioso porque nunca había... Nunca, nunca... he estado. Ajá, en nunca un volé un, Nunca antes. volé. Mm. Nunca he sí. volado. Entonces, si es nunca he volado. I haven't. I haven't. ¿Cuál es el pasado participio de Flu. Fly? Flu. Ah, ese es el pasado simple. Flown. 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 Uh -huh. Flown. I haven't. Long, long, plane long, 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 has he called? Has he called? Uh -huh. has no. He called? He, no, he have hasn't. hasn't. He hasn't. Uh -huh. No, he hasn't. Very good. No, Number nine? Uh, nine. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. I still have found my cell phone. I still haven't found my cell phone. Oh, yes, haven't, haven't found uh -huh. yeah. I am not happy. I still haven't found haven't my found cell phone. My cell phone. Ah, okay. Number 11. 
Have you decided what food you want to order? Have you decided what food do you want to order? Excellent, that's the answer. In number 12. Has um, Sara read the magazine, magazine I gave to her? Uh huh. Has Sara. Has Sara read the. Uh huh. Excellent. Very nice. Uh, 13. Have you put all your toys away? Have you put all your clothes away? Yes. Number 14. It hasn't rained for a very long time. Yes, it hasn't rained for a very long time. Uh huh. And number 15. It hasn't. It hasn't. Okay, King. Okay. Yes, it hasn't rained for a long time and 15 i think i i have been have got i have forgot to buy some i have forgot, forgot is past forgot. simple okay forgotten to buy some bread uh-huh um, forgotten uh-huh i think okay. i have I forgotten for, i have forgotten okay uh-huh that's why. Well, I'm going to say for this. Forgotten. Mm -hmm. So as I was telling you in the uh, at the beginning, I'm going to send this list. These are the most common irregular verbs that you have in present, and then the past participle. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm going to send you this begin, worksheet. Come, come, begin, become, begin. Okay. And you have the the answers here, so you can check them okay. later at home. Okay. okay. So let's continue. Okay, this is part of what we have in the platform. This is, uh, well, I have already explained this, but I'm going to explain again. Uh, this is the present perfect with already and yet. What do you remember about already and yet? Cuando dijimos que era already y cuando yet? Already, right now, yet, uh, still. It's similar, uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so. Present time, el otro sería uh, futuro. Mm, no, so, not exactly. No. no hecho, no hecho, pas. Aha, uh -huh. it's, it's like you haven't <laughs> finished, you haven't finished something. It's not done. Present perfect for mm -hmm. Let's pass part Okay, when the, the present perfect with already and yet, we studied that last Thursday, but, yeah. um, and also about the structure is to talk about basically experiences, something that happened in the past that is, is still connected to the present. And the structure, well, we need to use the verb auxiliary have plus the past participle of the main verb. We have some examples of yes no questions here. So we're going to practice pronunciation. Let's repeat. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Have you been to a jazz club? Yes, I've, I've been to several. Yes, I've been to several. Has he called home lately? Has he called home lately? Has he called home lately? Yes, he's called twice this week. Yes, he called yes, twice, he this called twice this week. Twice. Twice. Week. Twice. 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 Uh-huh. 
Yes, he's called twice this week. Yes, he calls twice this yes, week. Yes, he called twice this week. Okay, there you go. Have they eaten dinner yet? Have, Have they eaten they dinner, dinner yet? yet? Yes, they already eaten. Yes, yes, they were already eating. Already eating. We have the contracted form here. Let's remember that uh, we can make a contraction of I've. It's I've. I have. I've. You. I've. You. You. You have. You. You have. His. He has. His. He has. Mm -hmm. It's not he is like the verb to be, no, it's the contract of he has, his, his, it's, with, with, they, hasn't, hasn't, or has not, haven't, have not. Mm -hmm. Let's remember that we can use irregular in past participle, they just change to ed, but we have irregular too. We also have irregular verb that change. Uh, like for example, in this case, the verb be changed to been, do, mm -hmm. done, eat, eaten, go, Gone, gone, have, had, uh, make, make, made, made ride, ridden, ride, see, seen. Mm. Uh -huh. So, um, in this case, we're going to practice uh, speaking with your classmates. You have to make questions using the present perfect here, classmates. Let's see, um, you can ask, for example, how many times have you done these things in the past week? Write your answers and then compare with the partners. What are the activities? Clean the house, make your bed, cook dinner, do laundry, wash the dishes, and go grocery shopping. Uh, in, you can write the answers in your notebook. For example, um, well, about cleaning the house, I have, I have cleaned the house twice in the past week. I have cleaned the house twice in the past week. I have made my bed every day in the past week. I have cooked dinner about three times in the past week. I have done the laundry three times in the past week and I have washed the dishes about four times the past week. And I haven't, well, yes, I have gone grocery shopping um, three times in the past week. What about you? Can you write about you in your notebook? Remember to use present perfect structure. Okay. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
Have you finished? Not yet. Not yet, okay. I finish. Finish, teacher. Okay. <laughs> now that you have finished, we are going to practice asking and answering the questions to ourselves. Well, the question would be, how many times have you? How many times have you make your bed in the past week gloria how many times have you made your bed in the past week number two how many times have you made your bed in the past week i have cleaned the house every day mm, made your bed i i made. have made my bed every day okay ask any question to another classmate you get william okay. joan renee and freddie uh, renee uh, have, have cooked dinner how many times how many, how many times, times? How many times uh, have you have you cooked, cooked your dinner? in the past week? Okay. Dinner. Uh huh. In the past week. Okay. Uh, I haven't cooked dinner. Uh, Never. Okay. Okay, uh, continue. Ask another classmate, Renee. William, uh, how many times had you done laundry things in the past week? I haven't done laundry in the past week. Okay. okay. You continue, William. Ask another <coughs> classmate. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, Ismael, how many times you wash the dishes? Have you washed? Washed the dishes? How many times have you? Okay. How many times have you washed the dishes in the past week? Very good. I have washed the dishes three times in the past week. 
Okay, good. Continue. Okay, let me check. Um, William, are you there? Yes. Okay. How many times have you uh, go grocery shopping in the have past you, week? Have you gone? Have you gone grocery shopping in the past week? I haven't gone to grocery shopping in the past week. All right, continue. Uh, uh, Freddy? Freddy? Freddy, are many, you there? Hello. Okay. How many times have you made your bed in the past week? I haven't made your bed. <laughs> your made? bed. <laughs> My bed. Okay. <laughs> you sleep together or what? Yes. Sorry, <laughs> man. This moment is canchado. Uh, I pray. <laughs> Okay. Está poniéndose al día, pena Freddy, no lo había yes. visto conectarse. Sí, sorry, lo, lo siento, he tenido problemas con mi computer, entonces no, no había podido. Ok, continue Freddy, ask another classmate. Eh, René, how many times have you cleaned the house? in this past week i i i cleaned in my house uh, every week okay i have cleaned i have cleaned uh -huh. i have cleaned my cleaned house the, uh, every weekend every weekend okay yeah. continue every Sunday. okay uh, gloria how many times had you Hey, you cook dinner in uh, the past week. Okay. Uh, I... I have... I have cooked uh, my dinner uh, twins a week in the last... Nice. Uh, remember it twice. 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 I have cooked dinner twice. Okay, very good. There you go. Well, uh, we're going to well, we're going to stop here. I hope that you have um Don your exercises. Recuerden tener ya sus ejercicios más al día que se pueda. Because, well, we only have three classes more. Solo nos quedan tres clases. Y eh, vamos a practicar más este tema el día de mañana. Y vamos a empezar a ver cuál es la diferencia entre pasado simple y presente perfecto. Cuando combinamos tiempo es un poquito más difícil. Es cuestión de practicar mucho. Así es que depende bastante de qué tanto lo practiquen. ¿Sí? Les okay, voy nice. a mandar las presentaciones ahorita. Antes you, de teacher. conectarme a la siguiente clase. Las presentaciones del jueves y las de ahora también. Okay. okay, you will go to the to the heaven. Where? You will go to the heaven. Okay, thank you, <laughs> but not yet. Not yet. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Maybe okay. next week. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Bye, Tisha. Have a good night. Bye. Take care. Bye. Good night. Bye.